Hey, I'm Bowen. We are here at Pardis and Shane's Party Palace in Watertown, Massachusetts to play Deadpool LE, a uh, shot-making game from George Gomez with one of the most creative playfields in the last decade. We'll take you through the different battles and quests, try to get through to the Sauron mini wizard mode as well as the Mr. Sinister wizard modes. And along the way, we'll also try to catch up on some playfield X's as well as the combos that are inherent in winning at this game. Well, if you insist. I do insist. The regular skill shot is the top lanes. You only get to control that lane until you plunge. So you gotta plunge and pray, kind of. And there it is! Also landed in the Battle Saucer, which lets me pick a battle. There are three battles to pick from. Juggernaut involves these Deadpool targets, so I don't recommend it as the first choice. The others are equally recommendable. I tend to pick Sabretooth because it just involves feeding the bumpers. So shooting a spinner shot into the bumpers. You get points for the shots, points for the spins, and then it comes back around and you do it again. And every bumper you hit, you take away some health off of, uh... Oh, and there it is! That was a really fast completion, uh, thanks to a lucky bounce and some good bumps. Deadpool wins. Awesome. Okay, so let's think about what to do next here. Okay, so what I did there was I shot the right, the right orbit which qualifies these arm shots for chimichangas. You need three chimichangas to light the first quest, and then each additional quest needs one more. And you're just kind of picking off the shots so you can hit the most cleanly. You also can shoot the spinner here to try and light the Dazzler team up. It's also the main objective, and there's a good live catch. Live catches come when the ball is moving kind of towards the tip of a flipper versus a drop catch as it comes out of the battle saucer, which uh, involves dropping the flipper. All right, so, so far we have uh, a whole lot of information on the scoreboard. This page intentionally left blank. Beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, two chimichangas, so one more will light the quest, and we can take any of the orange shots. I like that left ramp. Okay, and so now as you see, the quest is lit the same shot as the battles. Uh, the quest tends to take a little bit longer than uh, the battles do. So let's go into the Megalodon battle and we'll show you one of the two main battles. I also collect weapons. Weapons are collected by any combo and weapons are the biggest currency of kicking butt in this game. They are bonus, they, they get extra balls, they qualify a multi-ball called mech suits, and they give playfield multipliers. The trusty steed. And we are here in the Megalodon battle where there is a red shot moving back and forth across. Um, if we hit any of the other shots that aren't red, we collect some points and eliminate that shot from uh, contention. So if I shoot the left loop here, I got a Megalodon restricted. I got points and ooh. I'm trying to get control of the ball to show you what's up, but uh, I'm sorry, that was a bad mistake. I should be firing away off of there or just letting the ball bounce off the uh, bounce off the right. Good news about these uh, quests are, because they're longer, they will continue to be lit. So if you fail at them, you can uh, make progress again. Now we're also going to look at Little Deadpool, which is this guy right up the middle. And I know I said shooting these dangerous targets is a bad idea because they're, you know, dangerous. But when a ball saves on, go for it. So, see there? I saved a ball, basically, by only doing that when it was safe to do so. Uh, you don't have to knock down all of the little Deadpool targets to qualify it. You just have to hit the, the thing in the back. And... The next time I hit him, now that he's green, it's going to be locked for Little Deadpool Multi-Ball. 
So I'm going to be sneaky about this, and I'm going to start either a battle or a quest. Ooh, an extra ball for weapons. Okay, so I can continue to play the... All right, Juggernaut it is. Okay, so I have to hit these Deadpool targets to make this work, so I am kind of deliberately, like, right now, starting a multi-ball. And once I started, once I start the multi-ball, the shot making is that much easier. One, one jackpot, two jackpot, three jackpot, ah, ah, ah. Four jackpot. Here's the other cool thing that's happening here. Remember those weapons? The weapons are still active while I'm doing that. Oh, take that guy. That's a lot of points. Deadpool wins again. Little Deadpool multi ball. Zero. Good job. Good job. <laughs> but. We've also qualified Katana Rama time, which is uh, done by uh, making all three, three shots each to the right ramp and to the left ramp. And in Katana Rama time, you want to make. Any ramp shots you can. More loops. Do, 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 do. Slice that! Slice that! Roller dance battle time! Alright, that's a roller dance battle. Your job is to shoot enough spins on the, uh, the left spinner. Oh god. Come on. Whoa! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. That was a sweet ninja apocalypse. Oh, and this is one of the things that makes Deadpool great and terrible. Uh, it's not a terrible game, but it makes playing it really challenging. Is that you get in this flow of shot making and the game is constantly coaxing you to make um, challenging shots on the fly, notably through that through that right orbit or when a ball launches. Um, hey, you know, I do want to play disco spins because of course who wouldn't want to play disco spins? So two more things have happened in the meantime. I've shot the left and right orbits enough to qualify the team ups for these characters. And the team ups will uh, affect the next battle. Because I have Dazzler, I'll have more time, which mean, also means potentially a bigger payout. And on the right, I will have uh, super spinners for the upcoming battle with um, Mystique. You can get two other uh, team ups, one through the U-turn here for Colossus, and that will be a uh, double scoring. And the other is, um, the other is through the center spinner, the Wolverine team up, uh, which will double the damage that you cause with your shot. So all those things build up together Especially the double scoring, it's very valuable. So it's tempting to want to shoot that inner orbit uh, a couple times and try to qualify Colossus before going into this uh, this third battle. Um, I also want to make sure I go into the battle before starting the multi-ball because that multi-ball could be added value uh, from, from playing it out this way. So I'm going to take the regular skill shot because I don't want to go around and accidentally shoot the ramp and start multi-ball. All right, well, we started the battle. And I've got 31 weapons. Mystique with more time and super scoring and the multi-ball ready. 
Oh boy. There we go. You have to shoot that center spinner to get going. And then from there, that's the shot. That's a critical shot here. Ninja multi ball has begun. Everything is a jackpot, but the ramps are the shots I want to make for the uh, the battle that's ongoing. I've also got a an add a ball. Okay, and then an add a ball is coming. We've got to shoot that center shot for there. We also have the boom ready to go. And maybe we can talk about that in a moment after I get these balls back under control. And when things go, when the play field goes dark like this, it means you have finished the battle and you're supposed to make that final shot. How much is that final shot? Boom! 26 million on top. Backhanding the super jackpot. Deadpool wins. Oh, this is good stuff right here. Three weapons collected. Mech suit multi-ball is almost here because we are shooting combos while playing this battle. There's 48 weapons. This is how you get good scores in this game. You play multi-balls and you make combos during them. So when we're out of this multi-ball, we're going to be into another one called Mech suit multi-ball, which is a very valuable... Add a ball! I do like the add balls but uh... Hey, add a balls What's better than a jackpot? A super jackpot. Did he just say that? I think that's what he said, right? That's a ball save. Okay, so again, now, like normal multi ball play, like for me on a lot of machines, it's a lot about ball control. On this game, it is not. On this game, it is very much about keeping the balls moving and picking up more of those X's. 82 million in the Ninja Multi Ball, not too bad. Um, Doot, 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 doot. And whoa, and we're back in the, uh, it looks like we are back in the Katana Rama time. So we'll just kind of enjoy this music for a moment. Doot, 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 doot. How we got, how we got? 58 weapons, increased play for the rest of game at 100. Okay, after beating all three of the main uh, the main enemies, you start a, a mini wizard mode called the uh, Sauron battle. And don't worry, he's not going to take a ring, just any position of power, any of that crap. That's someone else. I forget what that guy's name is. But regardless, uh, you have to uh, shoot the four shots. It's two left ramps and two right ramps. And then the super jackpot is on the U-turn. This is a good time to talk to you about the boom button. Um, there's this boom button here. And if you hit the boom button uh, with either of your hands, uh, you can get that jackpot. Now in the newest version of code, you can actually hold down the button. And if you have a super boom like I have, which is four collected booms, you can just use one of them. Unfortunately, both of my hands are uh, currently occupied. So, um, 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 yeah, okay, I'm gonna shoot this. How much was that shot worth? 39 million, well, that was a multi-ball total. So, it didn't work out as well as I'd hoped, but I still have three booms left. Uh, you collect a boom anytime you complete the in-lane. So keep an eye on your in-lanes as the game goes on and you'll have a better shot at picking this up. I have uh, beaten uh, Juggernaut, Mystique, Sabretooth. Well, no, I'm sorry. I, they are now available again to battle at a second level. 
with the Sauron uh, involved in the battle. But I also have active right now the mech suit multi ball. And mech suit multi ball, it's make every shot. After five shots, shoot. After five shots, shoot the right ramp for a super. Sorry, shoot the scoop for a super. My fault. I forgot. I forgot the rule momentarily. Next suit is a four ball multi ball with a generous, a generous save timer. So whenever you see the uh, the scoop lit up, go ahead and take it because it's going to give you good value. Oh, and don't if you don't like waiting. Oh, here we are again. Me having to push the boom button and I've got both hands full. All right. If you have um, a bunch of jackpots lit and you want to shoot them all at once, you just got to push the button when it's red. Uh, that means collecting it four times before coming down here with your face in front of the playfield camera and then um, trying to touch it with your face without moving the camera. And down it goes. So we got a bunch of points for that, but uh, I don't know how many points that was, but we got 550 on the board. That's not bad. All right, let's make some more jackpots. Oh, we got uh, some kind of ball save or add a ball timer here. When you have a ball save, just go ballistic, man. Just All right, what are we at here? We are at... Uh... Okay, this is also a place to, to practice kind of bailout shots. Oh, that's a fifth, that was a fifth ball. So a bailout shot is basically a shot that puts the ball out of danger. So for me on Deadpool, the bailout shot is the Dazzler Spinner. Uh, to a lesser extent, the right orbit, but mostly the Dazzler Spinner. If I send a ball through that spinner, it's out of the way, it scores points, and I don't have to worry about that ball for a little while. So what I might try to do here is just kind of get one ball onto my right flipper. All right, two, that's fine. Then fetch one out and uh, use it. You can also at this point use the ball you've got to say, well, what can I shoot from this fl this left flipper? It's by itself. Boingy. And just be patient about that. A lot of times the ball comes right back to you and you don't really have to do as much as you think you did. Another time, there was the bailout. So I sent the ball right in the, to uh, Dazzler and another one. Jackpot. So, so this is my overall advice on Deadpool. Get mech suit multi ball going and look look carefully for the Nyan uh, chimichanga truck in the background. Uh, but while you are just uh, plowing shots, take the safest shots you can, and then do some do what you can to get yourself the supers. Ah. <laughs> just love it. I like the ending the ending uh, staying of that. Never mind, it's just it's just freaking great music on this game all the way around. Um, but it, this this game went out on vinyl, I think, right? <laughs> the soundtrack. Um, so we're in pretty good shape here. We've also completed Deadpool uh, for the next the next level of uh, Deadpool Frenzy. Um, 
And let's go ahead and get that started. I prefer to actually make that shot from the right flipper. So next time I get on the right flipper, I'm going to backhand it into the little Deadpool. Or, or not, you know, I could just miss. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so same thing here. And for as far as other progress go, I have a battle lit again. I have a quest lit. Um, I don't think I have any locks yet for the, uh, yeah, lock three more balls. The second time you go through Ninja Multiball, you have to lock each ball up. Ah, darn it. Bad decision. Well, bad shot. Or was it? I mean, I kind of made the shot. Um, it's one of the things that's weird about this game and this play field is that shot is so cool, but when you miss it, it doesn't sometimes feel like you missed it. Um, let's count it up, baby. Count it up. Count it up. Just count it up. Just, 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 just count it up. Just, 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 just count it up. <laughs> you know, we just gotta, we just gotta count it up. <laughs> Um, and this is basically like what Smash TV all over again here. How many little weapons of each kind do we get? When we just we just count it up. We just we just count it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ball three. Let's think about some other things I want to go for. I want to show you the snicked target. Uh, and the snick target is the key to getting like just monster scores in this game as opposed to the, the really good score you see already. Uh, the snick target is up the center of the play field to the right of the Wolverine spinner. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play this. Uh, the objective of that, of that target is to bank it off that target into the katana ramp. Uh, so I will try that a few times. It may have mixed bag results, but uh, we'll see what we got. That is the katana. All right, so um, what the katana does is it gives you a 2x play field for 20 seconds. Oh, 500,000, that's the worst mystery award. Why could you ever? Oh, well, that's nice though. All right, so let's, let's do these guys, Sabretooth, Mystique, or Juggernaut. We also just haven't seen T-Rex at all. Um, all right, apparently we picked Jungle Knot. Yeah, that's that's the worst freaking choice possible. Of course you're the Juggernaut. We, we obviously knew that. Oh, get out of there. Oh, darn it. That was deadly and awful. But you did see Snicked once, so got that going for me, which is nice. Um... Snicked combines with anything else that's rolling for a 2x play field, so ideally you want to get into something that's a multi-ball as immediately as possible. I didn't have anything available. Um, the other thing to use this on, to use the play field X, is that if I made it to 100 weapons, which I did not, I got a nice number instead, um, you get a play field X for the remainder of the game as a result of that. Uh, that. So, you, so you can see people getting 2, 3, 5 billion on uh, Deadpool using the combination of these these uh, these play field X's. Uh, as always, huge thanks to our backers at Patreon, including Atticus and Jeff Palmer from Florida, who uh, are our lead backers, and we really appreciate that the, the help and support of all the backers to make it possible to film these. And as uh, again, thanks to Shane and Parties for. Uh, letting us uh, use their Deadpool LE. Hopefully you learned something from playing the game and I appreciate you watching. Take care.